Hello, welcome to Stray Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the remesh and retopo command in Maya. Now, you can see I have already created a very complex uh, object. Uh, and if you select this, uh, you can see I'm just turning off the wireframe. Uh, and you can see this, uh, my, object, uh, my object's uh, topology is intact and it's uh, really nice and clean. So uh, you don't have to worry about the uh, topology. So I'll, sh I'll show you how we can do this. And we have actually used uh, a Boolean uh, command. And uh, so that in the operands are still intact. And they can give you an, you know, a, a real-time update of the s uh, smooth geometry. And you can see that in uh, the, <coughs> uh, the topology of, th of the uh, model is intact. So we'll show you how we can actually do that. So let's just delete all this and start with the fresh. Uh, <coughs> okay, uh, let me take a cylinder. Uh, just scale that up a little bit. Yes, and take one sphere. Also scale them up. Great. So now what I will do is I will select the cylinder and select the sphere. Mm, the selection uh, criteria has to be like that and go to the uh, modeling toolkit and use boolean and immediately you see that uh, uh, the two operands are out there and the boolean the final object is also there so we need to change it to the difference so now my objects is something like that and if i move a little bit yeah but this is not a very good topology right so if i if press 3 you can see uh, uh, it's almost gone so we cannot use this so what we can do is we can come up with a very simple script oops yeah okay so just clean them all up fine now in this script what i will do is poly capital r e m e s h that is poly remesh semicolon and hit enter and immediately you can see that it, it has been constructed according uh, to the to the uh, the surface has been uh, created now this is really really interesting I'm not going to change uh, any settings over here because that's uh, optimized with the basic uh, uh, calculation that uh, it has been done uh, so just let's see the yeah poly so this is the refined threshold Dew threshold and smooth str uh, strength. So I'm not going to change this one because this sometimes, you know, uh, though you can actually or you you should if you required. But I I want to show you the what is the what is the combination that we're using and how this actually coming out really really nice and smooth. So by uh, leaving this as uh, this remesh command into its default values, let's go and in insert an another poly retopo and hit enter immediately you can see the entire object has been r using the retopology it's actually uh, constructed the entire uh, surface into the recalculation of distribution of the edges and and the smoothness so if i hit 3 now you can see it's it's really really fantastic now you can actually change the a retopo commands like uh, uh, like the target edge maximum length or maybe the target face count that this is really interesting where i i should insist you that this uh, two uh, things like one target face count and the geodesic uh, radius this is really really important now one more thing is very important that is result re uh, refinement level it should be uh, at one because if your target face count is more than uh, a limit where we can where we uh, we can actually sustain the software or maybe your uh, memory power it can crash the, the the maya so be careful about this one this has to be uh, a little low to start with anyway you can use uh, a smooth later on but i can suggest you can go for 1000 also and you can see immediately or sorry it's it's actually 100 so you can go for one 1000 if you if you require or else you can actually 
oops sorry 100 and you can see it's actually uh, uh, you know uh, make your mesh really low poly and still holding the holding more of the uh, most of the shape over over there but yes definitely the the uh, the curvature the edges are not that good because my target face count is very low I can increase it up to maybe 1500 and I think that will go so this thing and another one is the geo, uh, geodesic radius what geodesic radius is actually do is try to refine your age distribution over over that over this uh, pre topology surface so this is also really interesting but I would recommend you to sometimes I mean for the basic use under analysis we really require that leave it to the basic values and all so I think this two has actually uh, gave you and what is the most powerful thing for this one is use your your mesh is still non-destructive so you can actually change the shape you know uh, and you can achieve the same similar sort of uh, uh, surface uh, over here and you can still change the operands from the uh, from the uh, boolean that we have already used earlier so this is this is really fantastic i mean uh, this this really serves uh, a real help for you know achieving a lot of uh, complex uh, shapes like this or maybe uh, maybe even even complex uh, shape like some something else so uh, this is something where you can uh, even in i mean by by reserving your uh, you know uh, reserving your original uh, topology of of the mesh so hope you enjoy this and use it uh, well in your in your uh, any projects and all so thank you very much uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and and follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much